Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Oh. <laughs> Watch your step there, Arthur. Hey, Anthony. Aren't you a little close to home for a camping trip? I'm practicing putting up a tent. I am going to be a mountain man. You mean like Davy Crockett? Exactly. It's going to be wonderful, Arthur. Roasting a pig over an open fire for dinner. Having bacon, eggs, and pancakes for breakfast. The only mountain I want to see this weekend is a mountain of pillows at the Ritz. Ah, the Ritz. There's an education conference downtown, and Norma is coming along so we can enjoy some quiet time together. <laughs> what about the kids? I would drop in Catherine at her cousins, and my folks are coming over to spend the night with Andy and Roy. Grandparents are always there to watch the young ones when the old ones get the itch. Good luck, mountain man. Uh, thanks. Oh, gosh. How am I going to figure out this tent? Do what any smart mountain man would do. Ask a mountain woman. <laughs> oh. oh, Arthur, I have been looking so forward to this weekend. When was the last time we actually had 36 hours all to ourselves? That would be when you were in labor with Angie. <laughs> mm, hello. Yeah, hey, 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 Mom, are you on your way? What do you mean, mm -hmm. where? To our house. You're watching the kids this weekend. N no, no. It's not next weekend. How could you mix up the days in your calendar? Arthur, be nice. That's your mother you're speaking to. What do you mean you and Dad can't come this weekend? Can't come this weekend? Give me that phone! Norma, heal! Uh, yeah, yeah, Mom, I understand. <sighs> Bye. They can't make it. They got their dates mixed up. This is my dad's weekend to volunteer at the petting zoo. He'd rather spend time with the zoo's cuddly little animals than with ours. Okay, let's go break the news that the kids were not going. Kids, there's been a change of plans. Grandpa and Grandma aren't coming. Mom, Dad, you've been looking forward to this for so long. Well, we just can't go. Why not? Who's going to stay with you and Roy? Me. I'll stay with us. I don't think so. Why? Because we've never left you alone before. Maybe it's time you do. I'm almost 17, you know. Excuse me. You're 10 months from your 17th birthday. Compared to how long dinosaurs live, that's a blink of an eye. And look what happened to dinosaurs. And you know why? Because their parents left them home alone. Come on, Angie can watch the place. She's old enough. See, even Roy agrees with me and that scares me what if you two got planned nothing mom well whatever it was you're just going to have to cancel does that mean i should unpack yes i'm afraid so no i get it i have to pick an answer right seriously you don't have to ruin your plans i'm old enough to take care of things it's just one night rome fell in just one night so you don't trust me because i'm 16 what's the magic number for trust 17 20 24 keep going well thank you very much for your vote of confidence you know, Arthur, we're only going downtown. What's that, 40 minutes away? An hour in traffic. So if anything happens, we'll make sure it isn't during rush hour. One phone call and we could be home. What if the power lines go down? Arthur, I think we can trust the kids. Let's go. Here's the number of the hotel. And I don't want you inviting over the cheerleaders, the football team, or the entire U.S. Third Army. Understand? Sure. But what about a couple of Marines? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, Norma. We have to start giving them more responsibility sometime. It won't be long before Angie leaves the nest. I just hope the nest is still there when we get home. Would you relax? What could possibly happen in 36 hours? An earthquake? In Boston? I'm sure you've heard of the effects of global warming. Come on, there hasn't been an earthquake in Boston since the 1700s. Precisely my point. We're overdue. What are we gonna do? I don't know. What a horrible time for Dad to be gone. Mm -hmm. 
Don't worry, kids. I'll save you. <laughs> Go on, you two, out the front door. What about you? Don't worry, Dad's never far away. Ah! <laughs> Arthur, what's wrong? I think I ate bad chili. My goodness. This is the thermostat for controlling hot and cold. Mm -hmm. This is a light switch for turning on your lights. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the phone for making calls. Mm -hmm. This is the carpet for walking on. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, let me give you a tip. Oh, what a nice thought. Uh-oh. What? Oh, I, I think I left my wallet at home. I never heard that one before. No problem. I got oh. it. I wonder where I left it. I got the pizza, thick crust, double cheese. And I brought the Nightmare Stalkers of Cemetery Street. Girl, you have never seen anything so scary. <laughs> Don't bet on it. I've seen Roy and Speedos. Ha, 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 that's funny, Angie. Remind me to tell that to Mom and Dad when they get home. Right after I tell them that you had people over when you weren't supposed to. Dad didn't mean Sky and Carmel. He meant strangers. Nobody's stranger than those two. Now, is that any way to talk, little man? Sky and I are like family. Not my family. That's because your genetic code is from Mars. Hey, I wasn't finished. Well, you are now. And Roy, this movie is probably too scary for children, so maybe you should find someone else to play with. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> Is that a great dinner or what? Mm, it was a wonderful start to a wonderful weekend. Ugh, this mattress is like being on a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Mr. Bindlebeep, I do believe you have something on your mind. Why, Mrs. Bindlebeep, I do believe you are right. Perhaps I should change into something more fitting. Hey, I don't care if it fits or not. And in western Pennsylvania today, one of those sudden surprises of nature when a Category Zero tornado touched down near a shopping mall. What? There were no injuries reported. Hello? Angie. Daddy? How's the weather? Fine, why? They're reporting tornadoes in western Pennsylvania. Dad, we're in Massachusetts. Close enough. There's extra bottled water in the kitchen and lock all the doors and be sure to keep your cell phone charged. Uh, the dog. Guinness doesn't make sounds like that. He does when you step on his tail. Good night, Dad. What was that all about? Separation anxiety. Here I am, Arthur. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. You have that same look on your face you had during dinner when you were thinking about the kids. Sorry. Trust me, Arthur. The kids will be fine. Kids? Oh, wow. What kids? Ah, so uh, you know my mom. She still treats me like I'm a six-year-old. She made me bring my extra change of clothes, my vitamins, my toothbrush. Your Winnie the Pooh pillowcase. Lay off the Winster. He goes everywhere with me. So what are we gonna do? I think the question is, what aren't we gonna do? <laughs> Father, you are. 
Stop tripping, brother man. You know how it's got to be. You got to do your thing, even if it's the wrong thing. And what if Angie finds out? How she gonna find out? Right now, she's probably too worried about how she's gonna clean the carpet after having the whole school over to party. <laughs> It isn't like you to spy. Oh, no. What about that time in college you told him you were going out with the girls? But he thought you were really going out with that Clifton Hammerbeck dude. He followed you all night long. Clifton Hammerbeck? What made him think I'd go out with a fool like that? Okay, my bad. But the point is, you have to check on your daughter. It's your right and responsibility as a father. And what do you know about kids? I have teenagers. That's a different kind of hell, baby. scared now? Yep, they're gonna jump higher than a duckway. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's a duckway? Depends on what you feed it. <laughs> I got that one from my dad. Yeah, we'll give it back to him. <laughs> Let the games begin. are out, everyone's asleep, and she's being very responsible. Or maybe something's going on she doesn't want anyone to see. How can you not have flashlights? Chill, girl, I've got something better. We have light. Please tell me that's Roy's. Uh, of course, Roy's. Here, now let's find out what happened to the lights. Okay, you gotta sound like a dead guy. Right. Man, you don't even sound like a sick guy. Here's what I'm talking about. I know. We must have left the TV on. Duh. There's no electricity. Oh. Sounds like someone's trying to break in. Or break out. Maybe it's like in the movie. There's dead people under the floorboards trying to get out of their graves. Carmel! Okay, buddy. Hold it right there. Whew, officer, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> That's what I get paid for. Now, I'm watching you watch that house. You wouldn't be casing it, would you? Me? Oh, oh, no. No, no, why would I be casing my own house? Are you saying you live here? That's right. And you're out here in your PJs because what? Oh, that. See, I, I just drove here from downtown Boston. For what? A slumber party? All right, I'm gonna need some ID. Uh, sure, no problem, officer. Uh... Winky. Butch Winky. Well, Officer Winky, I, I, I don't seem to have my wallet with me. Let me guess. You left it in your other Dr. Denton? No, it's it's in there. All right. Then let's go get it. We can't. It's, I, I don't want my kids to know I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Because if I were your kid, I wouldn't be thrilled about it either. Well, how about we go talk to my next-door neighbor? He'll vouch for me. Oh, really? Oh, wait. Anthony, he's not home. He's off being a mountain man this weekend. Oh, what? He thinks he's Davy Crockett. All right, let me get this straight. You're telling me you forgot your wallet, that you live there, and the guy who lives there thinks he's Davy Crockett. Is that about right? Uh-huh. All right, let's go, professor. That's right. That's right. I'm a professor. At, well, actually, I'm a teacher at Central High. You teach at Central High? That's right. Why do you say so? I went to Jefferson. I hate Central geeks. I better make sure my brother's okay. Trick, pal. No, I heard a scream coming from my house. Well, maybe your wallet misses you. Okay. Okay. Take me to my children. <laughs> Roy, how did he get in here? Same way they got in here. Oh, you're gonna be so dead so fast. <gasps> I had to say dead, didn't you? Please do not be alarmed. 
This is the police. I'm Officer Winky. Nice going, doof. Now the neighbors call the cops on us. Wait, how do we know he's really a policeman? Yeah, Officer Winky? What kind of name is that? I heard that. It's just like in that movie. The Night Stalker dresses up like a cop to get into people's houses. Once that happens, it's all over. She's right. We have to play it safe. Uh, just a minute, officer. My dad's in the bathroom. My 250-pound, 6'5 dad will be down in a minute to open the door. Except for the fuzzy slippers, she's got you down to a T, huh? Nice try. Angie, it's me. Open up. Excuse me for the intrusion, miss. But is this your father? What are you doing here? I, uh, I came back for my wallet. I don't think that's why you're here at all. Young lady, just so they don't hold my retirement ceremony without me, is this your father or not? My father? Get real. My father's at a hotel downtown. Angela Marie Bindley. Yes, he's my father. Luckily, they get their looks from their mother. Dad, you came back here to check on us, didn't you? No, no. What I... Yes, I did. I, I confess. I didn't trust that you were responsible enough to handle things yourself. Y you're a dad. You can understand, right? Hey, I'm out of this one, part. This is what I get for working this beat. Davy Crockett, stray cats, dysfunctional families. I'm going back to Vice. Have a nice night, everyone. And I hope you have plenty of butter, because you, my man... Our toast. Angie, Roy, look, I should have trusted you to follow the rules. Wait a minute, why are they here? I told you no one over. No, you said no strangers. Sky and Carmel are like family. Yeah, the idiot cousins. <laughs> You're having a party, aren't you? I knew it! Dad, if we were having a party, you would have known a block away. We were just watching a movie, Dr. B. We'll go home if you want. Nah, it's okay. Does anyone want to tell me why the lights are off? Wow, what do you know? The lights are off. D don't worry, Dad. I I'll take care of that. Just like you showed me. I can't believe Mom sent you to spy on us. Well... Wait a minute. Mom doesn't know, does she? Of course she knows. Oh, really? Then you should call her and tell her everything's okay. She must be worried about us. I, uh, I, I don't have a number. No problem. Mom wrote it down before you left. Here. All right. Your mother doesn't know. You snuck out on her? She's a very sound sleeper. Well, I think we can all forget about this little incident as long as we've learned something from it. Okay, and what have you learned from it? Uh, well, uh, Angie, I learned that, that, that if you make all the signals downtown's only 35 minutes away. Okay, okay, maybe I should trust you a little bit more than I do. Yes! Does that mean when you and Mom go away for your college reunion next month? That your grandparents will be here as planned. Hey, it was worth a shot. All right, everybody, what do you say we all keep this our own little secret? Even the fuzzy slippers. Uh, especially the fuzzy slippers. You're all welcome to spend the night. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to the hotel. Dad, hold up. You might need this. Don't you all stay up too late, understand? We won't, Dad. Promise. That's a duck way. What's a duck way? Depends on how much you feed it. <laughs> Son, leave it to the professionals. And if you make pancakes in the morning, be sure to unplug the griddle after you're done. And someone has to get up early to watch Guinness. And... Dad, hmm? we'll be fine. Now go. Yeah. I hope I make all the signals. Arthur, what are you doing? Doing? I'm gonna go for a walk. At three in the morning? Hey, hey, the early bird catches the worm. Mm -mm, Arthur? Oh, but then again, worms are overrated.
This was the most wonderful weekend. That it was. But it seems like we've been away forever. Oh, I really miss the kids. Just like a mother. I never gave them a second thought. Hello again. I'll get your bags for you. Whoa, I'd say somebody did some shopping. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little heavier than when you checked in, but hey, I guess I can handle it. Here you go. Yes, sir. Did I mention that I have your car ready for you downstairs, sir? I even put on the air conditioner so it'd be nice and pleasant for you and the missus. <gasps> Why, thank you, sir. How thoughtful. Arthur. Yes, dear. How did your wallet get from home to here? Hey, wait, my, 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 my man. Uh, have you got change for a 20? Hmm. Thank <laughs> you.